Over here. The tracks are fresh. I'll see them. If you could, it'd be too late. Come on. Hey, uh, Galen can't keep up. His tail's dragging. Well, the chimps do not have tails. Yeah, and I'm all right. Yeah, sure you are. You're Iron Man. Uh, excuse me, Iron Ape. Uh, Michigan's great running back. Yeah, that was a while ago. Like about 2,000 years, give or take a century. Huh. Well, let's move on. There's no telling how close we're this way now. Try to make that forest before dark. Coming, Mother. Check in here, I'm ready. Go away, baby. This is our chance to get clear. We know what direction we're going in, they don't. There's nothing in any direction. What difference does it make? You can tell direction by that. I mean, without the stars. Yeah, it's called a compass, Galen. That needle always points north. And that cloud cover is a big break. Work always men won't know what direction they're going in, so they'll go in circles. We can go straight on. Compass? Is it witchcraft? Witchcraft, no. It's handicraft. I made it. Hey, next handicraft class, make me a trail bike. Twin jet. <laughs> you got it. Come on. Clouds. Blasted clouds! Forbidden to travel without the stars. Nothing's forbidden when you ride for Urko. Then how come the spirits have pulled our horses' tails in a circle? All right. All right! We'll camp here, make a fire, and stand watch to see if it chases the clouds. If not, we're going on until we catch them! Oh, why didn't I buy that nice little bar in Jersey City? Come on, come on, we're following the, uh, the, the, the handicraft. Come on! Hey, get it. Heads up. Take it easy. It's rough in there. Take it easy, Caitlin. Oh, oh. Lie still, Caitlin. Lie still. Turn it, hurry. I'm sorry. Wait. Don't worry about it. I always make tourniquets for my friends. That's it. Take it easy, Gayla. We have to stop this bleeding first. It's kind of... It was dark. I fell. No kidding. Next time, wait for the lights to change. We gotta keep moving. We're sitting ducks. Hey, wait a minute. What is it? It's a farm. Huh? It looks isolated. Uh, this could be it, Pete. Uh, show me a couple of nice, smelly old tractors in his home sweet home. All right, settle up. Let's move out. I don't care if this farmer doesn't have a daughter.
Anybody in there? Anybody inside? You get away from here. Now! I'm warning you. We have clubs and corn knives. Look, we need help. Our friend's been hurt. We don't help humans. Oh, dear. It's terrible. He needs help. Wait. Who are you? My name is Galen. These are my friends. His tired friends. You're their prisoner. They captured you. No. No, no. Please, please help us. Are you rich? They're your bonded humans, right? No. Hey, put that thing away and help him, will you? Now look, we're no danger to you. Get him inside. I'll see what I can do. Ask your questions later. Can't you see he needs help? Don't direct me, wife. I'd already made up my mind. Now, not you two. Anto and I will carry you. You two can wait in the barn. And don't touch anything. Or don't steal anything. Or I'll put the patrol on you. You just take care of him. Man, I could sleep standing up. Oh. Leave a wake-up call for February. What year? Sarge, I didn't even hear Reveille. Well, thanks for waking us up. Why did you sleep so close to the cow? Well, if she doesn't object, why should we? Look, we're not going to hurt your cow. Oh, humans are cursed to cows. Everyone knows that. Live and learn. Five years I've waited for a bull calf. My own ox to start my own farm. And nothing but female calves. Heifers for the landlord. All right, put the stabber down, pal. This could be your lucky year. Hey, no, wait a, wait a minute. I don't understand. Oh, you understand. When a son becomes of age, he has to wait for a bull calf to be born before he can start his own farm. Five years I've waited, and the signs were against me. Nothing but female calves. This year, I knew the signs were right. <sighs> Until you came. You hear? You're a bad omen. If you put a curse on her, I may kill you. Hey, no, wait a minute. Remove the curse. Go away today. Hey, you two. Bill is asking to see you. He's awake. Wait. It's bad enough having humans in the house. But wash first. There's a smell about you. Well, nobody's perfect. Hmm. You know, you really are wonderful. I feel so much better. Have you done this before? Oh, I once trained to be a nurse. Oh. Uh, until I met Polar. Well, the city, no place to raise a family. Or even visit. <laughs> Someday. Always the same answer. Anto needs his bull calf. Reba's hardly out of rompers, and Julia hasn't even sought out a husband. Daddy! You won't be able to stand on this for some time. How long? Oh, 
Several days, at least. I can't have those humans around here. It's dangerous. They've been known to kill cows, just for the meat. Burden and Burke are not going to kill your cows. Where are they from, those humans? Look, you simply must let them stay. They'll work for their keep. Work? Of course they'll work. That's what they're for. Well? I'll see. He means well. You'll see. Thank you. Oh. Did you send for my friends? How can you keep calling them friends? I think we're gonna have to stand inspection. You ready? Oh, uh, I've made up my mind. You can uh, stay until your friend is well or able to walk. Yeah. No! You heard my decision? All right. But the cow is my say. They stay away from the cow. Uh, he's right about that. The cow is his say until the calf is born. Anything you say. But you'll work. Every day. Just as though I could afford you. You got a deal. Just as though I owned you. I get one of them. One of them's mine. <laughs> you'll see. Out of patrol. Are you sure you're not escape bonded slaves? Uh, no, I give you my word. We are free humans. You will work for me. Yes, yes. All right. I'll go in the back and hide. I'll talk to you. Yes. I'm looking for escaped bonded slaves. Have you seen any? Humans? Of course humans. What else? Uh, we know nothing of uh, bonded humans. We're just poor tenant farmers. Yes, we can't help you. If you see any, report immediately. Failure to do so carries a severe penalty. I understand. Are you dumb? Do you understand? Yes, I understand. If you see a stray human, report at once. Oh, yes. Your name? Hola. I wonder if there's a reward. Didn't look like one of Urko's men. Don't kid yourself. He's some kind of a local patrol, but they're all Urko's men. Don't tell me your troubles. We got enough of our own. There's no end to them. The earth seems to keep breathing them up. How do you know? I said I lifted half the rocks in Jackson County when I was a boy. You keep talking strange. There's no such place. There was. It's a bad field. But we need it. Every foot. Well, it's going to get worse every year if you keep plowing like that. What? Come here, I'll show you. Every time you plow up and down a hill, the way you're doing there, whenever it rains, it's going to wash off more of your topsoil. And gullies are going to start to form. And they'll get deeper and deeper. And they steal your land because you have to work around them. Playing in mud? But if you plow around the hill instead, like this, you see? Then when it rains, the furrows hold the water. It won't run off with your rich topsoil. And there are no gullies, see? Look, Anto, it's true. 
It's foolishness. Now, everyone knows that plowing down the hill gives the ox rest from plowing up it. Foolishness. Where did you learn this? Well, my family owned a farm when I was young. We'll plow around like he says. Well, then he'll plow around, because I'll have no part in it. But don't mind him. He's worried about the bull calf. Nothing else on his mind. You lied, didn't you? No, no, you'll see. Take the ox. About your family owning a farm. Only apes ever own farms. Then only the rich ones who have friends in the government. No! 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 Stop! I ordered you to stop. What's your problem, boss? Well, that's the wrong kind of fence. Uh, well, you show me a bale of hard wire, I'll build you a proper one. But right now, this is the best I can do. Uh, poles. Set up and down. Stuck in the ground like... like these. Now, come on, Remus. You knock yourself out putting up a stick fence like this. And then the first time old Bessie rubs against it, it falls in. Now, you take a nice rail fence like this. Lock tight. Bull strong. Last your lifetime. And uh, it's pleasing on the eye. Fences never last long. They're not supposed to. Yeah, that's where you're wrong, Lieutenant. I'm not wrong. I'm in charge. Uh, this kind of fence grows on you. And uh, say you want to move it. Uh, Polar wants it over there, say. All you got to do is take it apart and put it back together again. Is that right? Would I lie to a nice ape like you? Hmm. Hmm. I've decided. It's a good job. Thank you, boss. Back to work. Yeah. Who taught you to build a fence like that? Abraham Lincoln. I'd like to meet him. So would I, Massa. So would I. Point is, you let them get away. You could not follow them at night, sir. The clouds. Burden, Burke, and that traitor Galen, I suppose they can see through the clouds to the stars. Hmm. How long? A four days hard ride, sir. This is all farm country. Tenant farms. A few plantations. Yes, sir. They could steal horses. It's death for a peasant or a human to ride a horse there, sir. Yes, I know that. But you find your way back again. Yes, but it will be slow. The weather is covering the stars again. Then the gods will guide us. These humans are dangerous. They stir up trouble. They think they're as good as we are. an ox, pitch hay into the barn. Now, isn't that enough to convince you he's not right in the mind? Wait, watch. OK, ready. Work is meant to be work, and hay is meant to be pitched by the forkful. Drive the ox ahead. Go ahead. Ho there, ho. Good. Hey, that's very, very good. Yeah, that's not bad for a guy who doesn't have all his marbles, right? Show me how to make the trick work. Sure, it's easy. Now you saw. That's better than forking a whole load full of hay. See, she must have already eaten some hay that fell in here from that evil device. She's dying. I know it. 
They're a curse. I told you. That all makes a strong argument. How soon is she expected to cash? Three weeks. Three weeks, I think. But I think your calendar's a little off. More like two or three days. She'll be off her feet for a while, that's all. It's a lie! Throw them all out now or she'll die. Now, your cow is not going to die, Anto. Now, look, we can't leave here until Galen's able to walk. By that time, your cow will be a happy mother and we'll be on our way. No. I'm the eldest. The cow is in my charge. Have we shown you anything evil yet? Well, tell me, Polar, if we have, then send us away. The farm seems to profit from them. You can stay. But if anything happens to the cow, as Anto fears, your fate will be up to him. Now, what good will that do? Enough! <sighs> then it'll be too late. <laughs> I think he has some things to work out of his mind. Remus, I thought you were shelling corn for seed. I am. Burke should be doing it. Hey, come on, have a heart. We didn't discuss coffee breaks, but it's part of the deal. Remus will shell the corn. It's the job of the youngest son to prepare the seed. But here, I always use the best ears for seed, not the smallest. <laughs> Did you hear that? The best ears are for feed and flour. The little ears are for seed. Oh, oh, I see. Well, uh, then I guess it's the bad spirits that have been making the stalks in the field smaller and smaller every year. Burden used to be a farmer when he was young. Mm, not much of a farmer. Wasting big corn on seed? <laughs> well, tell me something, Remus. Do you expect to be big and strong like your father someday? Of course. Well, that's because Polar is good seed. Now, if your father were small and weak, then you probably wouldn't grow big enough to handle a calf, let alone an ox. See, every year, if you use the biggest, best ears for seed, then your crop will get bigger and bigger. It will, I promise you. You know, I can remember sitting around a fire, something like this, with my own son, and telling him the same thing. Chris, I wonder how he is. I wonder what... something the matter? Well, they have feelings too. Just like us. Now you hush. Why are you so interested in runaway bonded humans? You couldn't afford to buy one. I just wondered if there was a reward for helping you find one or two. Reward? Why? Do you know where some are? Well, I thought maybe you could tell me what they look like. Oh, humans look alike. You know that. Maybe I'd go hunting for them if, if it'd pay enough to buy a new bull calf. You farmers are all the same. You want to get paid for doing your duty? There's no reward. Now move on, unless you want to be arrested for loitering around horses. The returning of slaves should be worth something. Who is that? Some backcountry farmer thinks we ought to be giving a bounty on humans this year. He looked familiar. I've seen him before in the past few days. Yes, Polar's farm. He was looking for bounty, you say? Perhaps Polar's farm needs to be watched more closely.
For another half fruit of freshen? Another three, four years? Burden says she'll be all right. He's turned your mind with clever talk and tricks. This cow is dying from their curse. She started dying the day they walked in here carrying that, that human love of Galen. I'll have a talk with them. Galen can stand. I've seen him. They're staying, so the cow will die, I tell you. Humans burn the flesh and eat it. You've heard tell of that. You say Galen can stand? Hello. Oh. 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 Not too much at one time. Huh? Mother says you'll break open the wound. Oh, no, no, the pain has turned to itching now. That's very good. Won't Burton and Burke be surprised when I just walk right in on them? Oh, not quite yet. Why? Uh, well, I mean, well, I don't quite understand you anyway. Hmm? I mean, you you must have come from a good family. Well, uh, well. now you're, you're you're running with humans who have filled your mind with mad ideas. <laughs> They're not mad ideas, and I can't tell you any more. So you just stop asking, huh? Why don't you just let them go on? Well, you see, um, I can't. And that is just another way of you asking exactly the same question. <laughs> just like a female. I thought you might never notice. Well, you see? What well, I tell you, it's what kind of goes, and then it's one of these burden. Tell them what you're, no, wait. I remember, it's. It's our very own windy mill. Uh, windmill? Well, that's what I said. Isn't it wonderful? Uh, what good is it? This is the power unit to your irrigation system, Polar. Yeah. I don't understand. Well, when uh, Verdon finishes with the wheel, it goes up there. And the wind makes it turn. And then we pump the water out of the ground and out there onto that dry field where you need it. You see? Making oxen lift hay that should be pitched. And now... Conjuring up the wind to make water pour where it shouldn't. It's unnatural. No wonder the cow is dying. Tell them. Uh, Anto says he's seen your friend Galen stand. If this is so, you must go. It's true. He can stand. They can't go now. Not until they finish. So I can see it work. It's not for you to say. The youngest has no say. I do have a say. I have a say. Anto's only worried about a bull calf. Wait till your time comes to worry. Please. Stay, leave, stay, go. My mistake was being a father. Do what you want. From now on, I just live here. That Anto is not one of my favorite apes. Yeah, he could be trouble. That mounted patrol was looking for escaped laborers, but he didn't look too fussy about who he picked up. have been with us. We've made excellent time. Yes, sir, but the horses, they need rest. We ride! I stood for several minutes today without this. What's the big secret? I thought we were friends. I wanted to surprise you. Well, lovable Anto is chomping at the bit to get us out of here. Apes do not chomp at bits. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. He's anxious. Better. And I think we'd better accommodate him. He could turn us in. Maybe we ought to help out that cow, give her a dose of Epsom salts, and get this thing moving. Look, if that calf isn't a bull, then we could be in bigger trouble. If that cow dies, Anto is entitled to kill you. Swell, I'm glad he knows his rights. Just give me a couple more days. I'm healing fast. Hmm? We could carry you again, Galen. But the minute we leave here, Orko's gonna pick up our trail. If we could get a hold of some horses. Uh-uh. I, I take it this isn't horse country, huh? Oh, uh, 
Only uh, landed apes and police are allowed to have horses. Farmers have to walk or ride oxen or cows. Nice arrangement, keep them poor and busy. Well, then that's it. We're stuck. All right, we sit it out. See whether Galen here or that cow makes it first. I can hardly wait. I don't mind being a peasant, just so long as I have all the conveniences of the rich. Yeah, well, even the rich don't have showers in this world. But as long as you're adding conveniences, maybe tomorrow you can put in the hot water. How about a massage parlor, a sauna bath, and a gym? Will that make you happy? Yeah, we're open this. <laughs> having a premature birth. She's suffering because the calf is turned. Do you understand me? Do you? You, you've done this. Wait, the cow is not dead. You can't claim a life yet. Look at her, the cow doesn't need to die. I can help. The calf is gonna be turned around. Oh no, you've worked your last trick here. When she dies, you die. Anto, stop! Oh, come on in, you human lover, and see what you've done. Blame me, then. It's my wound that brought us here. We'll leave. We'll all leave now. Yeah, I'm packed and ready, I'll tell you that. Anto, there's nothing they can do. No one will leave until this is all over, one way or another. Toll the bell, Remus. It's probably too late, but toll the bell. the 15 yards. What are you saying? I'm talking about a five-legged race with Gala. No way. Our best bet is with the cow. Speak so I can understand. We're six inches from becoming shish kebab, buddy. Let the cow find another doctor. Atto, there's nothing they can do. You're right. Because if they try anything, I will kill them. All of them. Anto, I can help the cow live. I've seen doctors do it a dozen times. No. Polar, do you want your cow to die? At birthing time, the fate of the cow is in the hands of the oldest son. I have no say. Who says you have no say? Those are old words passed down for so long from our fathers' fathers, we don't even know if they're right. Be still. Don't say such things in front of the young ones. No, I won't be still. It's Jay and Remus that I'm thinking of. Anto, listen. You have seen these humans show us how to stop the rain from washing the hills away. And you have seen them create cropland from dry fields. Please, Anto, 
You want that calf. And, and the bell asked that it be a bull. Let him help you. No, you won't touch the cow. Uh, give me a reading on the odds. You sure you know what you're doing? No. But I know that cow will die if she doesn't get help. Remus, do you trust me? Just play along. I like the odds better your way. I'll get ready to operate, Doc. Oh, God, wait! Oh, All right, Anto. I got a knife. Now, you drop the fork, or your baby brother's never gonna live to see your baby poor born. He's not fooling. Anto, please do what he says. You heard him. Drop the fork. Anto! Anto! Do as he says. <laughs> If you want it to be a bull, ring the bell. You won't get away. Because when this is over, if I don't kill you, the police will. Because I won't lie to them again. directions, even on a cloudy night. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would think that he could direct a baby calf into the world. Escape bonded human, sir. Patrol here thinks she spotted him at her farm near here. Standing under a stream of water. How far? We're almost there, sir. We're hunting two escaped humans and a defector. Enemies of the state. Sir, I doubt if there's... If there are any one. doubts, I will have them after we have a look. Yes, sir. Lead the way. When you 
you said twice as bad. Hey, you're a genius, Alan. Oh, thank you. I'll never knock a farm boy again. <clears throat> Twins. Two bulls, Anto. That uh, bell ringing really did the trick. <laughs> police! Police! All kinds of police! Hi, up there. Come on, quick, outside. Anto, come on. Polar, that's Polar. Why do you come riding through here? You make enough thunder to shake the turnips in the ground. Shut up, female. You're hiding escaped bonded humans, Polar. No, that's a lie. He was here before. Silence. He was standing over there under that thing. One of them was standing under there in, in a kind of rain. <laughs> What's so funny, farmer? You won't laugh with Polar hanging on the end of a rope. <laughs> it, it was me. He saw me. We're a poor farm family. Would you deny us what little fun we can make for ourselves? Now look. See? I make the family laugh. <laughs> A human, see? And then I then I walk around like a like a straight necked goose. Uh, <laughs> like a human, see? <laughs> oh, 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 I'm gonna have some meat! I'm gonna have some meat! And we we'll cook it good! Oh. <laughs> Did you see? This is what he saw. <laughs> my room for taking my makeup off. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! Ha 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 a clown, eh? Let's see. No humans here, sir. Two brand new calves. They would have been eaten if there were humans around. Demote that patrol. He's made fools of authority. Yes, sir. Sorry for how I acted to you in there. I just couldn't believe. Thank you very much. Anto, I saw what you did out here, and uh, if I hadn't seen it myself, I wouldn't have believed that either. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say we're about even. Will you show me what I must do, just in, just in case someday when you're not here? Just ask me, Anto. I know. I watched the whole thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Put some bread in there. Oh, thank you, Zantes. Be careful of your leg. Well, I don't want you to come back here, laying around for for me to wait on. Oh? 
Where will you go? Well, we don't really know. West always seemed like a good direction. Maybe we'll try it again. Thank you, Burden. I'll never forget you. It'll be a long time before I forget you too, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> I named the bulls. One Burke, the other Burden. Hey! Well, just watch the heifers around the one named Burke. Bye. Bye. Where does it come from? I made it. He's a very bright boy. If you were a bright old farmer, you'd keep him at work in the fields, not building these toys to play in the wind. Next spring, we'll plant that new field they made for us. Good, rich earth. And I'll plant the best seed, like Burden said, huh? Yes, we'll try it. The best seed this time. Uh, if there's no objection, I think we should go that way. Does it matter? Everywhere we go, there's apes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> some good, some bad. <laughs> Come on. 